Hey guys, YouTube Warm Hundred here. All right, now here I am continuing on with these reviews for these Marvel stinkers, and now here I am with a review for a true stinker. With a review for oh my god, Daredevil. Oh my god. So, yeah, there have been, like, quite the num well, yeah, there have been, like, comic book movies that I have truly hated, but, yeah, I think this one is probably the one that I hate the most. I mean, oh gosh, I have just always, like, absolutely loathed this movie. Now, not saying that this is the worst comic book film ever made, because, yeah, there have, like, definitely been, like, worse ones made, like, um, Batman and Robin and Spawn and the new Fantastic Four and stuff like that. So, yeah, this isn't the worst one, but there's just, like, something about this film that just absolutely just pissed me off and just made me absolutely loathe this movie. I remember, like, when... I first saw this film as a kid, and, yeah, I just absolutely loved it, and I just, like, wanted absolutely, did, I just, like, loved absolutely everything having to do with this movie, even, like, the Evanescent song, Bring Me to Life, which just featured in this, I didn't even want to hear it growing up, just because it was, like, part of this film, and I just wanted, I just loved everything that had to do with this film, so, yeah, so, yeah, so that could should probably, probably tell you, like, how much I really just absolutely have absolutely despised this film ever since it came out. I mean, seriously, this was just seemed like such a totally missed opportunity. Like, Daredevil is one of the most creative uh, Marvel characters of all time. I just think that his power is actually, like, pretty creative and interesting. And then just, this is what they put out. It just, oh my gosh. It just seems like the most missed opportunity for a superhero film ever. I mean, gosh. So, yeah, the Daredevil character overall, like I just said, he actually is, like, a pretty interesting character. I remember Stan Lee actually said that Daredevil was one of his favorite characters that he made. Yeah, and Daredevil's um, power is actually a pretty creative concept. It's something that I don't think that any other superhero ever has really had. had yeah, well, of course, like, what Daredevil's power is is that he's blind, but... Yeah, when he was blinded, like, it raised all of his other senses to, like, supernatural abilities. So, yeah, so, like, his hearing, hearing has been, like, really, um, improved, which, like, real, really heightened, as well as, like, his, uh, his, uh, feeling and stuff. So, yeah, his other senses have been, like, really risen, and he can still, like, see through, like, a, um, through, like, a special vision. So, yeah, Daredevil is actually, like, one of the more is like a very interesting character and his uh power is really um creative and interesting so yeah so i actually did th th do like the daredevil character and so yeah and yeah it's just like because that like just just like pisses me off just how this film turned out like seriously i mean it's like really not as much daredevil as it is just matt murdoch like in this film just like we hardly get to see Daredevil in it at all. Like, he's hardly ever in action in this film. And even, like, then, like, the action scenes in this film, they're really not that impressive. Just, like, the fight scenes really are not that cool. Cool. I mean, Daredevil in action, it's just boring, really. Really? And plus, just, like, what is it with, like, and, and like, all the times in this film where it, like, goes into slow motion? Like, when Daredevil's in action, there's, like, a number of times in this film where, like, the... It just all of a sudden, like, goes into slow-mo as he's in action. Like, why? So, yeah, I mean, yeah, seriously, this is Daredevil, not The Flash. So, yeah. <sighs> so, yeah, so there's just, like, a bunch of stuff like that about this film that just really makes it... It just, like, a total piece of crap, and it just has always been a film that I've absolutely loathed, and I haven't seen this film in such a long time since before I actually did watch it to make this review. So, yeah, and I probably you know, still am, like, not going to watch it again, and for a very long time after I make this review. So, yeah. And so, yeah, this film actually did have, like, a pretty decent cast to it. Like, it had, like, Ben Affleck, Jennifer Garner, uh, Michael Clark Duncan, John Favreau, Colin Farrell, 
Carol. And so, yeah, so it did have, like, a pretty decent cast to it, but just, oh, uh, nobody is really trying in this film. Like, the performances are pretty, like, substandard, and, yeah, they're really, like, not very good. But then, like, the villains in this film, like Michael Clark Duncan as, like, Kingpin, and uh, Colin Farrell as Bullseye, like, they just, like, seem, like, pretty over the top a lot of times. Like, just... Like, just... Th- yeah, Michael Clark Duncan in particular as a kingpin, he just, like, seems, like, really over the top with, like, his evil laugh, and it's like he really just doesn't do very much in this film, so really just, it seems like a totally wasted character. In fact, a lot of the characters in this film seem really wasted, like, um, Jennifer Garner as Electra, she's wasted. They said, uh, the Daredevil himself, like, not Matt Murdock, but Daredevil, he's wasted. The villains are wasted, the side characters are wasted, just, yeah, every character in this film is just totally wasted, wasted. and just, like, this plot is so freaking dumb, like, seriously, like I said, there's, like, hardly any Daredevil in this film at all. Oh, like, most of this film really just, like, Matt Murdock as a lawyer, and it's just, like, showing, like, him talking to, like, his clients and stuff, like, whether they're in court and stuff, and it just seems like a, like, Matt and his, uh, friend and uh, Foggy he are like having some legal conversations and they're like speaking with clients and stuff and the film like seems to be more about that than it is about like actually is Daredevil so yeah so yeah, this film is just yeah it's not even really Daredevil doesn't even seem to be the focus on here and yeah Daredevil is just a wasted character and when even when he is in action it just is like really boring so so it's just like as you can probably see what I'm getting at like the really the main reason that I really just have really hated this film just like how wasted Daredevil is in the film and it yeah this film just seemed like an absolutely totally missed opportunity I mean if Daredevil was actually done right I mean this could have really been like a really awesome film but instead like like he's just like totally like well, not totally, but most of this film is just, like, he's, like, hardly ever on screen, and it's mostly focused on, like, Matt Murdock, like, like just using his powers for nonsense. nonsense. And when Daredevil does come on screen, he's just, it's, like, it's boring to watch him. So, yeah, it's just, oh, I just cannot get over, like, how much, like, how much of a wasted opportunity this movie was. So, yeah, I would probably give this film, I don't know. One and a half stars out of four. I mean, seriously, this film is just like an absolute piece of crap. So, yeah. yeah so, yeah, I don't even know what else to say about it. It just is like, yeah, it's, it's just it's like a totally missed opportunity and a waste of time for this character. So, yeah, okay. So, I think I've like gone on enough with all like, why I really just have loathed this movie, so, yeah, I guess I'll just, like, talk about the premise of the film, I'm probably just gonna skim through it, because, quite honestly, it's really pretty painful, I mean, I pretty much already talked about, like, most of this film, is really just about, like, Matt Murdock, as his, as a lawyer, talking with his clients, so, yeah, I'll just, like, talk about the premise of this film as good as I can, all right, so as the film opens up, it just shows Daredevil at the top of a church, and it shows that he, like, fell into the church, and that was just, like, like just, like, staring off and just, like, really not all there. And then it cuts to, like, Matt Murdock as a young boy, and it actually did, like, show, like, what his life was like. Like, it shows that how he was bullied, and his father was actually a boxer, Hawkser, and but it, it was eventually like revealed that his father actually like was working for a mobster, and then eventually as uh, Matt was like running off, he like ended up being blinded by a toxic waste spill. But of course, like as I said, it enhanced all of his other senses, and he was able to see through like sonic vibrations. Yeah. Yeah, and then. And, uh, Matt's dad had, was then, like, in talks with the mobster. It was about, like, putting on a fake, a fixed boxing fight, but he refused to do so. And as a result, like, the, um, like, he, the mob ended up killing him and, like, beating him to death. And so then after that, then, uh, Matt then vowed to just stop all crime and that controlled, like, the Hell's Kitchen neighborhood that he lived in as 
a daredevil, a vigilante crime fighter. There you go. And then, uh, yeah, and then, yeah, as I said, he's like friend, he's now like a lawyer with his a friend, Fo uh, Franklin Nelson, a.k.a. Foggy, who's a, played by John Favreau, so... Yeah, I guess that is, like, something kind of interesting about this film, how this film actually does, like, contain, well, it does, like, feature, like, actors that had also been, um, that would, like, would be, like, cast in future comic films as well. Like, of course, like, Ben Affleck as Daredevil, of course, like, he would go on to play Batman and in the DC Extended Universe. And then, um, yeah, of course, uh, John Favreau in this film, he, of course, would be happy in the MCU, not just the Iron Man films, but the MCU. Yeah, so, I guess that was, like, interesting that this film really did, like, do that. How, like, how the actor, some of the actors like that in this film would go on to, like, be in other future comic book films. So, yeah, that's interesting. But anyway, getting back to this, yeah. Because, yeah, and then, yeah, eventually, um, Matt ended up uh, meeting, you know, Electra Nachios. She owes and it shows that she is a, a skilled fighter also. Though so, and it's also eventually revealed that uh, her father, Nicholas, is actually in dealings with um um a rich executive known as Wilson named Wilson Fix, but he's also known as the Kingpin, who was the mobster that actually he was responsible for the death of Matt's father. Oh, there you go. And then, eventually, he then, um, um, like, as uh, her father was trying to end her relationship with Fix, then, like, uh, the Irish hitman Bullseye was then, uh, recruited by, uh, Kingpin to destroy him. And, and, yeah, Bullseye, who's played by, um, Colin Farrell, then was, has, uh, well, he had a prima, uh, preternatural aim, Aim, and so he basically never actually missed his target. And so then he then, a bullseye ended up uh, chasing down um, um, Nicholas, and then Daredevil then was uh, trying to stop Bullseye, but then a bullseye got a hold of like Daredevil's like weapons, like it's like his nunchucks, so that is also like his um stick that he uses for walking when he's bored is a blind stick, yeah, you know, like, the stick that blind people, like, carry around and kind of, like, just help them, like, figure out where they actually are heading towards, yeah, uh, it's the, also, that stick that Matt uses for also, yeah, but then, yeah, then a Bullseye then, like, threw it, it towards a Nicholas, and Daredevil tried to stop him, but then after, like, a car exploded, it then, like, a, a messed up, uh, Daredevil's vision, Vision. So then it, and yeah, it ended up uh, sticking and killing Nicholas. And it, of course, like from how it looked, it seemed that that Daredevil actually was the one like responsible for the death. And so then Electra targeted Daredevil as revenge. And yeah, and then and oh. Uh, and then, like, there's this uh, reporter, Ben Ultrich, who feels that, um, Matt had done good things for, uh, Hell's Kitchen, and then, and he just, he told Matt that he now knew that, uh, Bullseye was gonna be targeting Electra next. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, I should probably also mention, like, after, um, Matt then met Electra, like, they then, like, started to become a couple, like, they liked each other and were starting to, like, go out with each other and stuff, like, they would be dancing and, yeah, just falling for each other and all that mush, yeah. Yeah, and of course, like, at, at this point, uh, Electra didn't actually know that Matt was Daredevil, so, yeah, she didn't know that she th was accusing Matt of killing her father, yeah. Yeah, and then, as Daredevil then tried to, um, track uh, Bullseye down, Electra ended up attacking him, him and of course trying to avenge her father's death even and Daredevil tried to um tell um Electra that he's not the one that killed her father, but of course she didn't believe him. And so yeah, seriously, what is up with all the um uh, the false accusations of 
of murdering fathers in like comic book films like it's in this movie of course like in the original uh, spider-man trilogy harry thought that uh, peter had killed his father and then even of course like in Captain america civil war black panther thought that bucky had killed his father so yeah seriously what is it with like what's the obsession with like like the false accusations of father murderers in comic book films yeah i just it's something that I've just been questioning, like, why has that, like, become a thing in comic book films? <laughs> yeah, it just is, like, really, really strange, and even, like, the line, I didn't kill your father, that's been in all three of those films, so, yeah, <laughs> it just is kind of, like, funny that that's become, like, a recurring thing in comic book films, yeah. All right, but anyway, and then eventually, once, uh, she ended, she... Uh, ended up like overpowering Daredevil and injuring him, but then she removed the mask and then it, she discovered it was mad. Mad and that, yeah, he's not the one that did kill her father. Though it doesn't actually quite make sense on how she feels, she like discovers he's innocent because, yeah, just because like he, he he's mad, that means he didn't kill her father. Uh, yeah, that doesn't really quite make sense because yeah, didn't that seem like when uh, Daredevil was chasing down a bullseye before, or like, well, as he was uh, trying to target Nicholas to kill him. Yeah, I told that, like, Matt and Electra were with each other, but Matt had run off away from her. So, yeah, I mean, so it's not like like Matt was actually, like, with um, Electra when her father was killed. So, yeah, so how does that exactly, like, show that Matt did? Or Daredevil wasn't the one that killed Electra's father. I mean, of course he didn't, but how, like, does her just finding out that Matt is Daredevil show that he didn't do it? So, yeah, that doesn't quite make sense. Yeah, so another flaw with the film, yeah. Yeah, but then, yeah, then Bullseye then arrived and Electra was just forced to fight him alone. But then, yeah, uh, eventually he, um, Bullseye overpowered Electra and killed her. Yeah. And then Daredevil then like went to the church and then and like his confidant, uh, Father Everett, knew about his secret identity. And then he ended up um um uh, fighting um Bullseye. Right? And then yeah, Bullseye then like discovered that loud noises are one of Daredevil's weaknesses, since of course like his other senses are heightened, which includes his hearing, and that could could be a weakness for him. So, oh um, and Bullseye then like just sounded off like bells and stuff, of to just weaken Daredevil, and then as he was trying to kill him, and Matt ended, and he ended up like having like a spiked piece of wood uh, that he was gonna um, impale. Uh, Matt with, but yeah, Matt ended up uh, blocking the attacks, and then as an FBI sniper, then was firing, firing, Daredevil, like, uh, moved out of the path, and then, and pulled Bullseye's hands into the, into the pathway, and then, yeah, the bullet then, like, hit Bullseye's hands, and then, yeah, Daredevil then threw him from the uh, steeple of the church, and then Bullseye landed on the roof of Ben's car, and yeah, he was, like, hurt, but he still survived through it, so, yeah, so, yeah, that's another thing, like, in this film, like, Daredevil doesn't kill either of the villains in this film, yeah, he, like, lets, um, Bullseye actually survive here, and then he also lets Kingpin survive, which I will, like, talk about in just a minute, yeah. Yeah, and then once, uh, Daredevil then, like, realized that Fisk is Kingpin, and he was the he was a bullseye boss. Then he made his way to Fisk's office. And then, yeah, Daredevil and Fisk then started to fight with each other. And then it showed that um, Fisk was, like, a really powerful, powerful because of his size and strength. And then, yeah, he was, like, dominating Daredevil. And then once, like, Matt was lying on the floor, he was, like, questioning and Fisk why he killed people that he loved, which of course were his father and Electra. Sure, and then yeah, uh and then uh, Fisk just like told him it was for business. As then he had worked under Fallon at the time he killed the uh, his father and 
Electro was in the wrong family at the wrong time. And then, yeah, that just angered Daredevil, and then he regained his strength, and then he ended up uh, breaking Fisk's legs, but he didn't actually kill him. And then he just, like, allow like, let him survive to be arrested by the police. But then he told... But then, yeah, uh, Fisk, like, was just uh, telling a Daredevil or Matt that he will get out eventually, but yeah, Daredevil also told us that he can't reveal well, who Daredevil really is because of the humiliation that he would get if he it was revealed that he was beaten by a, by a blind man. And then that'll make him like appear weak by the other inmates. And then, yeah, then after like the defeat of uh, Kingpin, and then Matt just returned to his day-to-day -day routine, and then, and, yeah, Ben then was just, um, talking to Matt, and then he just assured him that he won't publish the article that he's writing about Matt's true identity, and then, yeah, and then just showed him deleting that part of his article, and then the film just ended by showing Daredevil just jumping down from a building down to the ground, so, yeah, and then the film cut to credits, so, yeah, so, yeah, like I said, yeah, it just is, like, a really, really wasted opportunity for a Daredevil movie. I mean, yeah, if Daredevil was actually done right, this could have been, like, such an awesome film, but instead, it's just, like, mostly with Matt Murdock talking with his clients and talking about legal issues or, you know, having legal conversations, and, you know, and, yeah, like I said, just lame fighting scenes, just boring action, and Daredevil's a wasted character. Pretty much all the characters in this film are wasted. Just, oh, this is, film was just, like, such an absolute mess. And I have just absolutely despised the film. So, yeah, and like I said, it is probably, like, my most hated comic book film of all time. Not the worst, but my most hated. You know, because, yeah, there are, like, worse ones than this. But, yeah, it's just because of, like, how much potential there was with this. And they just, like, totally wasted it. It's just... That's just really what pissed me off about it. So, yeah. So, I, if you haven't seen it before, I don't recommend it. Yeah. All I can say is, thank goodness, at least for the Netflix series, that the Daredevil character has been done justice. So, yeah. That really did redeem the character a whole lot. I haven't actually watched the Netflix series, but of course, like, everyone has talked about it. How did it? And it's just been, like, really well received. And so, yeah, I may actually have to watch it to just, like, like, redeem my mindset and after how awful this film was. So, yeah, I may actually need to give the Netflix series a watch just to really see the character done right. So, yeah. All right. So, yeah, like I said, one and a half stars out of four. Just, yeah, an awful film. All right. So, yeah, I guess that does it for my review of Daredevil. So, I hope you guys enjoyed what I had to say about it. But, yeah, I guess, like, some people actually did think kind of fondly of Elektra. I guess, like, she was, like, a, um... Uh, um, what should I say? I guess, like, people thought really fondly of her. Her, I guess, like, yeah, Electra probably, like, actually had, like, a fan base and a following of this film because, of course, like, a couple of years after this film, they would then make, like, a spinoff film um, of Electra. Yeah, they would actually make an Electra film, which was, like, a spinoff to this film a couple of years later so yeah so that was like a spinoff of this film which i will talk about next time so yeah yeah so the electro movie will be coming up next so stay tuned for that but yeah so but i hope you guys did enjoy this review so yeah this is for my review of daredevil so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later